celebrated the joy of living as much as I have today. How was school? Boring. Nightmare. Oh, he just sucked the positive energy right out of me. I don't even know why I do my daily affirmations. You're strong, you're beautiful, people value your opinion. Ah, uh, that's why. <laughs> What's that? It's my checklist for Sophie McKenzie's birthday party. First thing on the checklist, start making a checklist. Check. Oh, that first one always feels so good. Yeah, about that, the girls were asking about doing something different this year. Oh, all right. Mackenzie can blow out the candles on her cake first. Even though Sophie is a week older, it'll confuse everybody, but I'm flexible. No, 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 okay. We want to do a theme party. Oh, well, I love that. How about we do a Hawaiian luau? Or favorite movie stars? Or cowboys and cowgirls? Or, or sports teams? Or animals? Honey, stop shouting out words like you're in a game show no one else is playing. They already know what they want to do. We want to have a madman party. You know, 60s dresses and beehive hairdos and all the guys will wear skinny ties and sharkskin suits. Yeah, we'll serve sidecars and Manhattans and dry martinis with just a whisper of vermouth. No, we're having mocktails. And how do you know so much about liquor? You are my mom. <laughs> okay, but a Mad Men party is a little more grown up than what I was planning. I mean, I was gonna do a decorate your own cupcake table and I looked up fun party games for teens. There is this one where you lather up a person's head with shaving cream and then everybody throws cheese puffs at it. Why? <laughs> Honey, don't be rude. Why, sweetie? Because it's hilarious. You have cheese puffs where your hair should be. Well, we're going to be 15. We don't want a little kid's party. We want it to be really cool. I know that's hard for you to think like that, but please, let us help you grow. Oh, you know what? It's your birthday. If this is what you guys want to do, then that's what we'll do. <laughs> Plus, I get to make another list. <laughs> Thank you. Great. What am I supposed to do with six cans of shaving cream and an industrial-sized bag of cheese puffs? I've got no plans this weekend. Put them in my trunk. A Mad Men party? I'd love it. I wish I had some of my grandfather's old clothes. Always wore a single-breasted tailored suit. Never went without a hat. Men dressed with such dignity back then. Yeah. My papa had some great suits from that era, too. My favorite was his wool tunic with the gold braids on the sleeves and the shiny buttons down the front. Elevator operator, pre civil rights 60s, good times. Yeah, this party's making me a little sad. You know, it wasn't that long ago, Sophie was begging me for a sparkly tutu. This morning, she was asking me about false eyelashes and boob tape. <laughs> okay, so the girls' birthday party's a little more mature this year, but so are they. It's still just dress up. Dress up is fun. <laughs> You sound like you may have a few interesting items tucked away in your closet. If you're asking if I have a fedora I've been dying to wear, I wouldn't deny it. You're still gonna have the combination bouncy house super slide, right? No, the girls didn't want it. Dunk tank? Gotta have a dunk tank. Sorry, Gary. I don't even know why we're calling this a party. Hey. Hey. Hey, Sophie told me about this party. I think it's awesome. Are you gonna dress up? Of course I am. Coming as a Perry Como 60s crooner who shows up late to the party because he accidentally booked a gig at the fairgrounds on Saturday. Matt! Okay, I am out of here. These arguments make me uncomfortable and I have to decide which fedora I'm gonna wear. That's right, I have a costume trunk. <laughs> what, you're uncomfortable too? No, I like it. I just wanna get a better view of the fear in Matt's eyes. There it is. You know, it never fails. You always manage to screw up Sophie's birthday party. I think that's a little unfair. Is it? Either you don't show up, you show up late, or you bring some groupie you barely even know. Correction, two groupies, because you forgot you invited both of them. That was exciting. Look, this is important to Sophie, so it better be important to you. Just find a way to get there. All right, I'll do the best I can. Do better. Stop looking at my fear. <laughs> Mom? This is Kyle. Oh, so this is Kyle. The famous Kyle. <laughs> See what you mean, Seth? Mom? What? Moms weren't embarrassing in the 60s? <laughs> I see you got your cupcake decorating table. Yeah, Sophie.
he fought me on it, but I won by not telling her I was going to do it. Good evening, Nikki. Oh, shoot. What? You knew I was coming. No, not that. Your hat reminds me I still owe money to that detective I hired to follow Gary. Oh, my God, Annie, you look really beautiful. This were 50 years ago, I would sexually harass the hell out of you. This were 50 years ago, I'd have to take it. You know what? I'm really glad I let the girls talk me into this. I guess I'm not such a fuddy-duddy after all. Your use of the term fuddy-duddy isn't helping your case. I can't wait for Sophie to see the gift I got her. Laptop, fully loaded. She's gonna flip out. Wow, Jack, that's really nice of you. Usually just get her something boring, like that pretend money you always give her. Those are U.S. savings bonds. I hope you've been keeping those. Calm down, I keep them. Right next to the compass and the first aid kit you got her. I know, I'm always the guy that gets her the practical gift, and every time she opens it, all I hear is, thanks, Uncle Jack, but this year, in your face, Sophie. Daddy, hi. Oh, hey, baby, happy birthday. Thank you. Oops, got lipstick on you. It's okay, don't worry about it. Just go wash your face. Oh, Daddy, you're so funny. I know, it's just hilarious how much I want you to wash your face. So what do you think? Very nice. I'm wearing 20 pounds of underwire, and all I get from you is very nice. I'm sorry. I'm a little distracted. I just saw Mackenzie. I can't believe you let her out of the house looking like that. Are you joking? Compared to what she wears to school, she looks like an Amish librarian. <laughs> but what about all that red lipstick? She looks like a floozy. Gary, it's a theme party. Well, is the theme, hi, Daddy, I'm a floozy. OK. Maybe she looks more mature than what we're used to, but it's her birthday party, and she's having fun. Now, don't say another word about it, or you'll embarrass her. Nikki, you have an entire deviled egg stuffed to your right shoe. Oh, I wondered where that went. So you can put whatever color icing you want to on it, then there's candy pieces, sprinkles, chocolate chips, and stuff that you can put on top. Cupcake table's a big hit. Of course it is. You know, kids can dress up and act sophisticated all they want, but inside, they still just want cupcakes. Yeah. Have you noticed who your clientele is? Hmm. <laughs> You're right. They do want your cupcakes. You're crazy. Look, just man the table for a few minutes. I have to go get some extra icing from the fridge. I'm not gonna lie, this hurts. <laughs> hey, you wanna go get some punch? I. Uh, maybe later. I kinda wanna see how this cupcake thing pans out. You want to try some lime sherbet punch? It's outrageous. No, man. Why not? Because I'm a dude. Jack, you were right about the sherbet punch. Super youngsters. Dad, you made it. I can't believe you dressed up. Yeah. Jack forgot to lock his costume trunk. Oh, you're early. Party only started 90 minutes ago. Hey, I busted my butt to get here. Sophie's happy. I'm not going to be afraid of you tonight. We'll see. Where's your gift? You're looking at it? Me being here is a gift. <laughs> you better be joking. <laughs> of course I'm joking. That's why I'm laughing. Not because I'm afraid of you. Hey, who's your friend? For God's sakes, Marshall, stalk someone age appropriate. What's up, Mr. Miller? What's up, Omar? What's that on your mouth, Omar? All that red. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Nothing. Whoa, Jesse, you got it too. <laughs> Come here, guys. Huddle up. Let me tell you a little something about my daughter, Mackenzie. She is the most precious thing in my life, and I would do anything to protect her. Anything to anyone <laughs> of any age. <laughs> Y'all feel me? Yes, sir. Good, good. Now go wash your faces. <laughs> what are you guys hanging around here for? Party's outside. Well, we'd rather stay here and help you, Mrs. Cooper. I'm fine. I got this. <laughs> All right, go on outside. Get. <laughs> You okay? I really wish you would have checked with me before you decided to wear that outfit. Huh? Every boy at this party, including Kyle, keeps staring at you. This is inappropriate. <laughs> okay, you know what? I didn't even want to dress up. I wanted to get a six-foot sub and throw cheese pops at people's heads, but no, you and Mackenzie wanted to be sophisticated. <laughs> Look, I'm asking you nicely. Go to your room and change into something decent. This is not fair. Well, no one ever said life was fair. This sucks! I heard that! Dude, I need you to help me out. No. You don't even know what I'm asking. You brought two groupies to the party and you want me to run interference. I told you never again. God, I wish everybody would calm down about that. It was five years ago. I was very thoughtless back then. I'm sorry. What do you need? I forgot to get Sophie a present. So I need to sign my name to your gift. What? You didn't get your daughter a birthday present? Yeah, Jack, I got her four of them. That's why I'm asking to go have these on yours. No, I am not gonna do that. I got her a really good gift, a laptop. I am gonna be the fun uncle this year. No more boring, practical gifts. Oh, like that pretend money you give? Those are savings bonds issued by the government. What is wrong with you people? I don't understand why this is such a big deal. I do favors for you all the time. Like what? I gave you a ride to the airport. That was in 1999. <laughs> and you were so eager to get me out of the car, you drove off with my suitcase. I think the words you're looking for are thank you. <laughs> you are not horning into my gift. I am the fun uncle, and that's that. Yeah, well, your hat makes you look like Uncle Ned. <laughs> I am not the pervy uncle. But, Mom, if you don't dress up, everybody will think you're lame. Exact words. Dude, what's everyone... <laughs> Is this a dream? Tell you one thing, next year she can throw her own damn party. And it's her sweet 16, too. Good luck, Sophie. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. When this party is over, I am not lifting a finger to clean up. I am done. Hey, what are you guys? <laughs> oh, sweet Lord. Oh, my God. I knew it. Boozy party. Trust me, boys, that's more trouble than it's worth. Annie! What? She got a text from Omar. He and Jesse left because you freaked them out. You're damn right I did. Those boys were making out with my daughter at her birthday party. Let me ask you something. Have you sat Mackenzie down and talked to her about how to conduct herself as a proper young lady? About having self-respect? Excuse me? Are you questioning my mothering skills, Gary? I'm just saying. Maybe I'm not perfect. I have been known to do things, like accidentally season my pasta with bath salts. <laughs> When it comes to raising Mackenzie, that is what I do. It's my job, and I am damn good at it. Oh, really? Then why do those boys have her red lipstick smeared all over their mouths? Mackenzie, honey, come here for a second. What's up? Have you been making out with boys? No. Mackenzie, I saw Omar and Jesse. They both had your red lipstick all over their faces. Omar and Jesse. Gross. 
No, it wasn't my lipstick. You're the only one wearing it. So please explain to me how... What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Daddy, let me ask you something. If I had a beautiful diamond, something that I valued and cared about a lot, do you think I'd give that to just anybody? No, I don't. And that's a very good way of putting it. Yeah, I learned it from Mom. You're a very smart woman. Oh, I can't take all the credit. My mother raised me to be a proper young lady. Nikki, you did a burlesque show for teenage boys. <laughs> men, Gary. Now they're men. Hey, listen, Sophie's kind of having a rough time with this birthday party. She'd probably appreciate a nice gift from her dad, so if you want to put your name on my gift, that's okay. I thought you wanted to be the fun uncle this year. I know. I still do. The fun uncle is just extending a helping hand to the barely there dad. <laughs> wow, that's very generous of you. But I got Sophie a present. When? I made a call to a friend of mine who's a roadie for Taylor Swift. He got me two tickets for her show at Austin City Limits. Good for you, man. That's a cute present. It's no laptop, but it's pretty darn good on short notice. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, he also dropped off this. An electric guitar? He got Taylor to sign it on the back. Come on! This makes my laptop look like a savings bond. <laughs> Just for future reference, don't try to outfund the fun dad. <laughs> People love my hat. I asked around. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing in here? I'm the only one who can't go outside anymore. Whatever, it's fine. Look, I know this isn't the party you wanted, and I know that you're upset. I'm not upset. Really? Because I would be if my mom gave everybody an eye full of her uppers and nethers. <laughs> I don't think that would ever happen. Grandma wears a robe under her robe. <laughs> it's hard sometimes, having a pretty mom. Sophie! It's true. It's weird seeing guys look at you like that. I even heard one of them talk about how sweet your setup is. What? Who, who was talking about how sweet my setup is? Marshall. <laughs> Honey, those boys have a lot of growing up to do. And Marshall should probably be tested. <laughs> Sophie, you're a beautiful girl. And one day, you're going to be a beautiful woman. You have to say that. You're my mom. No, it's not just me. You think I don't see all those boys checking you out every day when I drop you off at school? It's not going to be long before they're all lining up outside that door. And it sure as heck won't be to see me. There you are, birthday girl. Kyle's been looking for you. Really? Sophie. <laughs> not too eager. Let him come to you. OK, Mom. <laughs> Mackenzie listens to me. Sophie thinks I'm pretty. <laughs> Can I interest you ladies in a refreshing mocktail? <laughs> Go home, Marshall. <laughs> Oh my God, Mom, you were right. This is a blast. I told you. Y'all need to trust me when it comes to good, clean fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have to go first? Everybody's taking a turn, right? 